For today, in the name of freedom, we take the battle to them. Okay. Are you done? I'll wait. That's great. So I'm glad you got that out of your system, but at the same time, your mom. What's, What's up, up Alfonso Nation, Alfonso Peterman? And your boy Leo. Back at it again, baby. With another thing. That's right. You see, what you just said, that's right. right. That's actually correct, right. what you just said. Right. And I want you to know that it is right. Guys, um, in this video, first of all, welcome, one and all, to another episode of Epic uh, Toy, Toy Hunting. Hunting. We're in the 60s now. This is the 61st episode. We're getting up there. We're getting up there. This is, this is getting We're high getting up. up. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the 100th. Like, that's gotta be a big one, right? It's gotta be like a. It's gotta it has to be, be like a giveaway. We have to do a giveaway. We gotta do a giveaway, Soon. and we might have to travel. You know what I mean? Yes. But hopefully that's like post COVID, because that's that is a far way off. You can't do anything with COVID right now. You, you can't do anything. Can. You really can't. We are at Walmart right now, and this is the Walmart that we haven't been to at all. I think yeah. in the third season. We or we, if we have, it might have been like the first or second episodes. Um, this is the one that's closer to my place now. The new place. Let's go. This is where I found Studio Series 38. And uh, they, they really do carry a lot of great stuff. It's on the side of town that gets everything. Kind of like the Target that we're banned from. We're here and I do not, I've never, it's been a while. It's so been a hot minute since we've been at this Walmart. Yeah, so we, wow, talking about yeah, hot minute. There it is. Oh my god. We're at Walmart. We're at Walmart right now. Whoa. Yeah, Walmart. Ha, what was I saying? Walmart. Yeah, I know we're here. What was I saying, though? Uh -huh. I really lost... <laughs> I literally actually forgot. All right. We're at Walmart. Feels good, baby. It does. I should probably put the mask on before I get canceled. What you rocking today, man? What you, what you rocking today? Yo, man, what kind of mask you got today, man? Man, he got that double mask. I got the hospital mask, and then I got like the, the decorative mask. Oh my God. Stylish on YouTube. We're inside. Yeah. I don't. I, mean, I don't know if you guys can notice that, but we're here. We don't usually come to this one. Um, I'm actually very close to here, but I don't ever come here. I go to Target because I'm hashtag Target. Hashtag. Put in the Target. comments. Are you guys team hashtag? Are you guys team hashtag? Are you team hashtag? That's the question. Is that it? Are you <laughs> hashtag team Walmart? Yeah. Or hashtag Team Target. Put in the comment section below. Nice. I've seen, uh, I've seen you in the mall before. Out like air fist, bro. Air, or elbow. You uh, see me in the mall? COVID. Yeah. That's like, long. dude, I seen you like two years ago. <laughs> I'm like still subscribed to your shit. I get like notifications. Really? Yeah. It's That's been that long? long? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What was yeah. I doing? <laughs> you were just walking around doing what you're doing now. Oh, I'm yeah. guessing you're like documenting how fucking crazy it is in here that nothing well, fucking exists. Yeah. Yeah. Like, essentially. Yeah, it's insane. Essentially, it's him, it's we're doing a little toy hunt, and uh, yeah, it's, it's weird. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. That's what we're at right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Have a good one. Well, okay. Yeah, I, I don't, I have no idea who that is. I have, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen him before. Mask on or off. I don't think I've never, but you know, whatever. Cool, he's a cool guy. Shout out to you, bro. I'm doing the backwards walk, because back whenever I did the 38, Studio Series 38 thing, I did a backwards walk in right. this store when I said dreams come true. Yeah. So I'm doing this for good luck, right? Kay. I'm just putting it out in the ether. Whoa. Wonder Woman 84, baby. I cannot wait. <laughs> dude, I can't wait. I love Wonder Woman. Backwards, backwards. Turn around. Let's go. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've never been here, so show them what we've got. All right, so I'm seeing a Megatronus in the Felonus, in the Trinaconus. I'm gonna stop rapping. Right. <laughs> yes. 
because it's not working. Again, taking the mask off, nobody in the aisle. Do not cancel me. Give them a wide. Uh, show them what's going on, what we're working with in this building, baby. Hey! <laughs> what's this? I, I what do really you think this is without looking at it? Well, I kind of saw it. So. Okay, well, then never mind. It's a scavenger. Oh, get out. Is of it here. a scavenger? I think so, yeah. Yeah. It is. Nice. Yep, it is a scavenger. How did I see? Um, oh. I love Earthrise packaging. We got Star Screen for Earthrise. We have Ironworks. And we have a better double dealer in the real or in the stealer, and I am not. His I, box is is okay. His box is intact. It's not bad. His head is on. on. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in good shape. Yeah, so I like Earthrise Star Scream. I've been wanting to get this guy every time I see him, and I've just been hesitating. I don't know why exactly. I guess I can't justify the price. That's just my thing. Yeah, um Plus, I am a movie-verse guy anyway. I like the movie figures, too. Um, I'm not really an a Earthrise or War for Cybertron collector, but I do um, I do like to get a few of them. We got Scavenger in the... Oh! Oh, let's fucking go! Guys, guys, guys. So, okay, I thought this was... I thought this was another Scavenger because they're the same color, essentially. Overload, <laughs> dude. Over overload. We found it. Yeah. We found it. Wait. Yeah. Let's just bask in that for a second. We found. It. Overload, dude. Oh, he is bad. As dude. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Wow. He is like a giant crap. He's like like a crap. Like he's like. <laughs> and he's like he's got like wait, the wait, neck. He's like what? Okay, so what you're not going to do is come for me. I just want to know. What did he do? <laughs> <laughs> Studio Series 66 Overload is ours to command. Alfonso Nation. This is dope. This is already a successful hunt. Yeah. First visit. First store, first try. Well, second try. But you know what? You know what You. What are you going to do to it? If he says one word, if he does, we fight. Exactly. We declare war. You understand that? We declare war. Okay. Overload <laughs> is ours, baby. And he's the only one here. Take a look. Uh, I do not see. Yeah. So there's two double dealers. Looks like they're taking the Earthrise Optimus Primes and they're starting to just like scooch your boots for double dealers so that they can stock them. And for the Lux class for CV series, you can show them this. Uh, we got Shatter, Roadbuster. And we got uh, uh, World War II Hot Rod with Off-Road B right here. And then we have uh, Soundwave and Robuster. The Desert Sands Quake. <laughs> As Constructicon Overload combines with his comrades to form Constructicon Devastator. I'm going to read this again. I think this is probably the best description I've ever heard. It says the Desert Sands Quake. As Constructicon Overload combines with his comrades to form Constructicon Devastator. Golly, that's a good, that's, that's a dope description. Right now, we're probably going to uh, consider other things and do, do things of that nature and just kind of, you know, talking until she leaves so that we can actually get to the nature of the... Uh, conversation here so just acting like I'm saying things and that I'm not actually stopping for her not want to make the situation weird so yeah Buzz Lightyear and there's a snake in my boot <laughs> you know what I'm saying so that's a very important thing you know I think I was very inspired by that and um, I was moved essentially I was very moved by uh, Woody from Toy Story saying there's a snake in my boot you think about that and it reflects such incredible value, you know, mm -hmm. and it moves you spiritually, you know, emotionally, um, it moves you psychologically. So this is good. This is a very successful hunt just because we have this. This alone proves our success today. Uh, we got overload. We got overload. Now, personally, I'm not collecting all of the Constructicons. I did say I would get all of them at once. Looks like we might already have, like, an option where we can just get the pack. Pretty cool. I might actually consider that, but... Overload is in our possession. I know you guys are like, oh my god, I need that. Because a lot of you guys... That? You had one... You, you had... It's war. 
it's war. Did I? I said, I said. Why did I? Dude, that was a pure reflex. I went for the nearest thing. <laughs> your mom and your mom. And your mom and your mom. Okay. Are you done? I'll wait. That's great. So I'm glad you got that out of your system. But at the same time, your mom. Your mom. Your mom. I think we won the war. <laughs> we won the war. Also, up here, uh, it looks like there is a box yeah. that was not opened that I'm going to open. Because I'm not just a toy hunter. I am the toy hunter. Let's get uh. it. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a mask. <laughs> I thought it was a mask touched by other people, but that's a bib. That's one of these guys. Oh, crap. <laughs> so I used the word for Walmart, so this is my excuse. This is the first time Teletrain unboxings and Epic Toy Hunting collabs. We've got two leader class figures. Revenge of the Fallen. What are they? So they're one scavenger and one overload. We have another overload. <laughs> So this is just like an extra overload. I don't recommend anybody doing this, by the way. <laughs> I just did it because, you know, I mean, hey, that's these are for us to buy anyway. So technically that's that's a product for me to buy. And the box means nothing, they throw them away. So by definition, they don't care. We have another overload and we have another scavenger in this box. Are you gonna put the box back up? Yep. Turtle do it. I can never freaking do this. How do they do this? Don't put this in the video. <laughs> How could... There's always one... I always pick the wrong freaking one. Okay, Leo's gonna do something special. I broke the box, but you know what? It works. And now it doesn't come out the other end. Oh, you actually did it? Yeah. It goes one, 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 one. I always pick the wrong one. Oh. Eh. Doors. We did it. All right, so you're gonna show off? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably not gonna go in a video. Ah, you know, I'm gonna put it in a video. All right, we're gonna go to Target. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you look like the pale horse of I the do, apocalypse. I do, but like, the thing is that you're you're lit perfect, and then I'm, like I'm, I'm over lit because I am really white. <laughs> yeah, you're like the pale horse of the apocalypse. The Acopolis. Acopolis? I said Acopolis. Acopolis. We are getting food right now. I'm, We're getting food. Whoa, this whoa, is kind of like a, yep. whoa, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you guys have uh, Energon? I'm sorry, what is that? You have Energon. What's that? Like, it's a, is it like an energy drink? I guess they were, like, I saw on the website that they were actually having it. Oh, that's, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Like, as a fountain drink? I was just wondering. She's cute. She is cute. There it is. See, but here's the deal. All right. <laughs> and we're going to actually talk about this. Because right. this is the thing. Hang on. We're going to actually sit. We're going to wait the mock chat. Yeah. You, like, a gay man can see a woman and be like, oh, wow, she is sexy. Mm -hmm. She is beautiful. Right. Sexy from head to toe. But not, like, be attracted to it. Not, like, be sexually, like, into it. Like, you can be like, dang, girl. And not be into it. It makes sense. It makes sense. A straight sense. guy is the same way. He can be like, wow, dude, like, you got a nice body. I wish I had that kind of physique. And not, like, want to freaking pound him. Like, yeah. that's what... That makes, that makes a lot of sense. That's what I'm trying to explain, though. Like, you're like, oh, my God, you can touch a woman and not, like, not feel anything? Like, yes! Let well, us know in the comments what you guys think. I mean, I think it's like... I mean, I've seen guys that look pretty good. I'm like, bro, I mean, like... He's a, he's a decent look guy. But I mean, I don't want to do anything with him. Yeah. Like, I would never do anything with him. Right. That doesn't make you gay. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Because, like, for some people, that would make you gay. It would make you gay. In their eyes. Like, in their eyes. They'd be but, like, like dude, no, bro, I don't like, want to do anything. That's gay, bro. Like, don't top of me like that, bro. And, like, what the hell are you saying? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you saying, <laughs> bruh? By the way, guys, we have a hurricane. We have two hurricanes coming. Yes. So, this beautiful day you're seeing. Will is, not be tomorrow or the next day 
I'm gonna pass this under. Pass it under, yeah. We gotta do a we gotta do our We know, gotta do a logo reveal. Logo a non sponsored non sponsored, but I'm, you know what? These people need to be giving me their money. Eventually. Because I mean listen, I'm like promoting your company right exactly. now. Exactly. Eventually we'll I don't have to do this. This you is know? just for entertainment. We have my number one. Oh. My favorite restaurant of all time. Raisin Canes. Yes. One boy. love, baby. So now on to the muck chat. The muck chat. How do you feel about Cliff Jumper repeatedly being a bone beep repaint over these recent years? I'm not too angry about it. Um, I don't. It doesn't really bother me. Cliff Jumper is kind of similar to Bumblebee in his physique. It's not like a like a drastic design change. So I'm not particularly upset. It would have been nice for him to have a unique design, but uh, I think the repaint is okay. I mean, it's it's it, it does the job, and they do change the head sculpt. They do change the like the chest sculpt just a little bit. They change a little things, kind of make the it small resemble. Thing to make it. Yeah, to awesome. make it resemble uh, Club Jumper more. Um, but I'm not really upset that it's. A, like remote if they are going to make a transformers prime season four or if they were gonna do it uh would you want them to and leo your mom <laughs> all right okay i think personally they should have made transformers prime in two like 10 seasons i think really? they ended so prematurely i loved it it was just my favorite series all time it is my g1 so um, I think the three seasons were great the way they did it, and they kind of escalated the plot to kind of end it in time, but they could have dragged it on, and they could have brought more characters, more development, more plot twists, more stuff. You just could have just kept going with that, but, um, they didn't, so I'm upset, but... Premature ending. Yeah, I think it is premature, but I am glad, and the Predacons Rising movie, the fact that they did that after the series really helped conclude that story well. Without that, I think it would have really been bad. <laughs> but I think the fact that we got the movie after, I love it. I love it. So I think the fact that they did Predacons Rising was good. That kind of helped with everything. Are you going to start collecting all the Starscream figures? <laughs> Dude, I would love to, though. Actually, like the ones with hieroglyphics. Yes. Know. And without, but I'm just saying the one with hieroglyphics. I was this close to getting Master Beast so nice. Starscream, dude. It's so nice. You know what I don't like about Master Beast Starscream? That I really don't like? Head? No hieroglyphics. It's the first movie, not the second. He had the hieroglyphics in the second film, not the first. So his jet mode is really plain. But and that really bothers Because on the robot mode, you can see it too. It's, it's going to be hard to not buy him whenever I see him. Yeah, well, yeah, design-wise and everything else is phenomenal. You are so right in that rant video. You must express your feelings. Thank you, Goji Prime. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I hesitated if I should do it or not because I don't want to be like a source of negativity. I'm always like watching that. Right. Um, but I really just felt like he was mistreated and I didn't like it. And I just had to, I had not, I felt a moral obligation to speak up about it because... That's my philosophy. If you see something that you don't speak believe is up. right, you have an obligation morally to speak up. So that's what that was. I didn't want to be negative, but what? And they started it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the concept of, of B being a factionless drifter and not wanting to join the Autobots in the Siege show? I love that. That really showed his evolution as a character. What? I freak. Yeah, in, in, the, so in the Netflix series, Bumblebee started out as not an Autobot or Decepticon. Just a, he's just a guy looking around for Energon. He's not trying to get involved in the war. He's too scared because he's like, if I join this side, then they're gonna be after me. If I join that side, you know. So there, so he's like, he he's just like trying to get Energon and survive. But eventually, it showed how he be, like connected with the Autobots a little closer as the series went on, and then he became Autobot all on. So um, what? I loved it. It's kind of like Jetfire, how he was a Decepticon, I and then, this. dude. It's dude. I might start it tonight. <laughs> what? It's like six episodes. Um, Jetfire. He like started as a Decepticon, and you saw his evolution in Autobots. So I love that. I love watching characters evolve, and watching the side of them that we're not used to. I love that. Which OP truck would you like to drive? Western Star from Age of Extinction or Peterbilt from uh, 07? Mm. Western Star. 
I see a lot of you guys are Team Peterbilt, and I should be too, because I learned Peterbilt. I, I don't know the difference between Pe Peterbilt is like the the semi truck with the trailer. Oh, he has the trailer. Well, yeah, in the movie, in the Rocket Moon, he had that giant trailer with the Autobot logo on it. Western Star is like the knight, that big shiny thing with the like the curved pipes. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the Western Star. That's the newer one, which I personally prefer. Yeah. I just love... I like new and improved. I I mean, I you know, I like modern stuff. So... Western Star. But, Peter Bilt... I'm shocked because I learned that Peter Bilt is my family's company. <laughs> like, the people who built Peter Bilt is Peterman. Peterman Bilt. I'm not even lying. You can look it up. It so is the Peterman family. It's his people. This is my people. And they are the ones that built Optimus, the first movie Optimus Prime. I've been trying to, like, do some ancestry stuff and, like, do some backtracking and contact some folks to see if I can do, like, a real, like, like episode or full-on documentary series thing on it to really see that is, like, my family. That'd be dope. Um, yeah, because it is Peterman's that... I think his name was Theodore Alfred Peterman. The guy, his name was Peterman, who founded the company. He was, he's a Peterman, and... I asked my nanny, who knows a lot about my history and our family, and she said, "Yeah, that's that's our family too." What? So I said, "Whoa!" So I, I, I'm I'm thinking about doing something like that, where I do some real like investigative <laughs> On your genetic back, yeah, backtracking to see if you know to like really trace it back. That's so freaking cool, though, because I feel honored, and that really makes sense why I love Optimus so much. Right? What is your favorite TFP character other than Optimus and Megatron? Mine is Bulkhead. Mine is Ratchet. I love Ratchet. He was so smart. So intelligent. He was... He's so wise. Yeah, and he was very emotional. I love his, 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 his uh, role with Optimus. I love his critical thought when it mattered most about, like, when, you know, the Omega Lock was destroyed. I just love Ratchet so much. I even love when he kind of lost hope at the end. And he just wanted to rust in peace and just, like, not be bothered. And then seeing him come back. Because he knew that he need, he always makes the best, wisest decision yeah. when it matters most. And how he decided to stay on Earth when Autobots went back to Cybertron. That I just look at all that and I love it. I love Ratchet and Prime together. I love them. Really I, love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. He's my deal. favorite. Oh my god, I love Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> well, guys, I certainly appreciate the questions for this mug chat. Once again, if you didn't get your question answered, we yeah. do these. We always look back at the old ones. Um, and if you guys want to submit them, I want to also say this. You can't do it in the comments on YouTube. You can't do it in the live preview. You can't do it on YouTube at all. You have to be following me on Instagram. And I will post, hey, this is a mug chat post. So drop questions there. I only take questions from there because it just makes it more organized. Where I, you know, I can see everybody's submission. It just makes it easier. Makes it so, um... Yeah, if you guys want to submit questions for the next one, uh, you can go to any of my previous mug chat posts and put questions in there because I look at them or wait for the next one and put them there. Well, pretty good mug chat. Pretty good mug chat. No, well, let's go to Target. Exactly. All right, guys, we're at Target, and this is the one we're banned from, and I'm starting to not care anymore. You know, I'm just essentially starting to just not care anymore. Oh, look at that. There's police. There's, There's cops literal outside. cops. The cops are here. So it's <laughs> just perfect. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ax them. If we can film. I'm gonna ax them. I mean, it makes sense. Because I mean, if, if we come back and they're like, oh, you can't film, unfortunately, quite frankly, I'd say you can't film. If they do that again, the worst they can do is call the police on me. Well, they're already here. Exactly. So here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna ask them. Which is kind of, you know, pushing it. Really? You yeah, think? I think it is kind of pushing it. Because if they say no, we really can't go in now. Because no, they no. Ju we just can't film inside. Well, we that's why we're here. <laughs> well, I mean, who's we're like, here to film? Yeah. yeah. If, if they say, nah, y'all can't do that in here, I can't go in there now because I just asked him and he's going to be looking at us right. and know who we are. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's so, whoa. So it's like a fit. Guys, this is a, this is a Russian roulette. I am going to ask this cop right now. We're going to get final answers. Go ahead. Right here. Do it. If we can do this at this target, we're going to crush this. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hello. Hey. Good. Um, I just had a question. I, is it okay uh, to uh, uh, do like video film? 
in stores because I've been doing them for like two years and they never had any issues with it. So I was wondering if that was all right. It, it all depends on the store policy. Yeah. Because yeah, because I've, I've done other targets and they were fine with it. So I guess I don't know what you might think. Okay, got you. Thank you, man. You too, thank you. So, basically, it's up to the store. It's not like, I can't, it's legally, it, I won't get in trouble legally unless the store decides to do it. Right. Like, they can decide to let us film based on how they have, like, their policy, or they can decide to not. If they decide to not, and we do it, then they can, like, the police. So, it still leaves a window open, but it still leaves a risk. <laughs> Because, but what I don't get though is why is it a risk? Because the other target, ma management, I'm not talking about regular people, like management are like, yeah, you guys are fine. You're cool. So you can't say it's the target store policy. Right. If not, all if targets other targets follow. are okay with it. Yeah, exactly. So it, that's what's like, that's what's eating at me. It's like literally every target I've been to are like, yeah, dude, I don't care. Dude. Just as long as you don't film people and you're not bothering people. Because literally a target... Dude, I'm not even joking. I swear. I'm just remembering this. I am having an epiphany. <laughs> I just remembered this. One time I was filming in this one. The one I'm, you know. Mm -hmm. And a, the security guard came up to me and he kind of asked me about it. He was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just doing stuff for YouTube. He was like, okay, that's cool. Just as long as you don't like do any people so they don't get nervous. The security guard, the freaking guy who calls the cops, <laughs> were like, yeah, that's cool. As long as you don't film people and their faces. And that was the concern. I think that was really the concern of the other guy. Yeah, they were He was like, you're people. filming my, my team members illegally? You filmed my team member illegally? I didn't film him. I filmed myself. Well, I had it on me. No. And I'm like, well, no, I'm not. And so I guess because he felt embarrassed, he was like, well, you just can't do it. Okay, well. Here's the deal, you can't film in the store. I guess he wanted to win in that conversation. I don't know. We're going in. <laughs> We're gonna take a life there. That is the conclusion of all of this. We are going in. Think about it. You fight you fight your battles every single day. Dude. I fight your mom every single day. Ah! TFI Creations. My boy! <laughs> Save me from work. <laughs> Fairly quiet day. I think it no, it's over there. Is this one? So we're gonna go there. Back and forth. Check it out, guys. That is our destination. This is Steve Irwin. Very quiet. Too quiet. I, I, I always say. It's very. <laughs> the way. The way that kid looked at me was like. <laughs> okay. okay. Show them what we got. Um, not bad, not bad. Again, no one in the aisle. Don't cancel me. Right. Um. Oh, hey, Thundercracker. Nice. We got my boy Thundercracker in the building. Now, I will say this store has been like fluctuating insanely. Like, we would have Scorponok and Skylinks one day, and then the very next day I have to come back to get something else, and it's gone. And then the next day after that, it's back. Next day after that, they have an end cap. Like, I don't, they were doing some weird stuff. So I, I do think Scorponok is here. I don't think they're buying them like that. I think they're just moving them around, and it's not here. So Scorponok and Skylink, I've seen here, for sure, uh, for just randomly walking up. Uh, but we do not have that here today. We have a lot of Voyagers, a good bit of Deluxe, not really too much. We got three Shatters up there, if you take a look and get a close-up on that. Um, we got that, and then we have uh, Off-Road B, we got Roadbuster. We got a lot of Megatrons and, and, and Mix Masters, man. I just... I, you know, I hate duplicates. Right. I hate when there's like more than three of the same thing. Because it's like there's stores with freaking nothing. Can you do better with the number of things you're sending to stores? Like, I don't get it, but I can't control it. It's not my thing to control. And frankly, I don't want to control it. I want to control the country. It looks like we got Mixmaster and Megatron duos over here. We got a 
Oh yeah, Mixmaster again. Sentinel Prime. We bid you return. Sentinel Prime is here, baby. Let's go. We got Scavenger. I don't know if Overload is in this. Scavenger. All Scavengers. And then we got some Earthrise Voyager, Megatron, Starscream, Grapple, and Grapple. And down here, we got two Double Dealers. Oh, this is not Double Dealers. This is Astro Terray! <laughs> Astro Terray! And no Earthrise Prime. So, that's, that's not bad. It's a good little stock in here. It's not exactly what I thought, not what I imagined. I thought I would probably find... Uh, Scorponok and uh, Skylinx, of course, but those guys probably in the back hanging out. I don't know what happened. I, I, I don't know what's going on with that, um, but I have seen them. I have definitely seen them. We've got. Excuse me. Yeah. Go ahead and give them a wipe again. What we got. And that's pretty much what we're working with. You know, I'm looking at you like that, do you? I'm going to give you a wipe. Which means that you're going to be pointing in that way. <coughs> Change your life, bro. Like, get a girlfriend or a boy, whatever. Right. Get a robot. Like, I, you know, I don't want to be in anybody's way, but I was out of everyone's way. And you got in mind. See, I like to have reciprocated what I give out. So. Hopefully they, you know, change your lives with what they got going on, or maybe or Scorponok is somewhere else. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on, but I saw him and he was massive, dude. Like he he took up this whole thing. Matter of fact, that's his tag. Scorponok. One. I was really hoping. Nine, zoom in on this. Like zoom very like come very close to this. I want them to see this right here. See that right there, guys? You see that right there? I want it him to be there. Matter of fact, I'm here. The reason what, what gave me the idea to hunt today was the Rage Nation. <laughs> um, he wanted me to look for Leftfoot, see if I can find him. Leftfoot's not here. Uh, I know I just recently posted that Leftfoot was seen in Target. I do not believe that is for everyone. <laughs> September 11th is the scheduled date for Leftfoot. I think that guy just got lucky. They just kind of put it out on the shelves, and it ended up scanning, and he was able to buy it. But for a, a like a general release, you guys might have to wait. <laughs> um, I think it'll, you know, it might be like a little sooner than the 11th, but it, it won't be like right now, like that guy. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. Slam dunk it like Kobe. R.I.P. to the MVP. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, I'll be doing more hunts, and I will obviously do more reviews and more unboxings. And, yeah, this is your Epic Toy Hunter. This is Liam. And we're going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs> Till all. R1. Or your mom. Oh! Oh! We are actual children. We are like legitimate children. There's a full one like drink right there. That's I hate when they do that. Drink. Like put your drink in the trash. We already have the COVID out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Here you go. Here you go. I need you to capture that. And your face? Oh god. Oh my god. Hey, let's just go look at the book sex, guys. The book sex. Yeah, got Sierra Designs in the building. <laughs> um, so as you can see, we're gonna be doing book bag hunt. Oh yeah, we might have to go. We're, we're banned. I forgot we're banned. Right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>